to study different tissues and thus study diversity in shapes and sizes of plant cells. Palisade cells, guard cells, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma, xylem and phloem through temporary or permanent slides. Tissue is a group of cells of the same type or mixed type having a common origin and performing identical functions. What is the classification of tissues? Classification of plant tissues Meristematic tissues Cells are capable of cell division Permanent tissues Mature cells incapable of division Epical Lateral, intercalary, tips of root and stem, below bark, cambium, in dicot roots and stems, internodes of stem, simple, protective and supporting tissue made of same type of cells, complex, conducting tissue made up of more than one type of cell. Parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma, phloem, xylem, sieve tubes, companion cells, xylem vessels, tracheids. Let's do an experiment to study different tissues and thus study diversity in shapes and sizes of plant cells. Palisade cells, guard cells, parenchyma, colenchyma sclerenchyma, xylem and phloem through temporary or permanent slides. Our aim here is to study different tissues and thus study diversity in shapes and sizes of plant cells. Palisade cells, guard cells, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma, xylem and phloem through temporary and permanent slides. The materials required are Permanent slides of different tissues, slides, cover slips, saffronin, blotting paper, bryophyllum, leaf, petunia leaf and dicot stem. Procedure To make temporary mount To study palisade parenchyma, put a drop of saffronin on the slide, cut the vs of a leaf and put it in a drop of stain. Now, Add drop of glycerine and place cover slip over it and observe the slide. To study parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma and xylem phloem, put a drop of saffronin on slide. Cut a thin TS of dicot stem and put it in stain. Then add glycerine and place cover slip on it and observe under microscope. To study xylem and phloem, Ellis of stem can be stained and mounted. Observations Palisade cells Mesophile tissue between upper and lower epidermis of the leaf is made up of two types of cells, palisade and spongy parenchyma. Palisade cells are long, elongated, columnar, placed at right angle to the cells of upper epidermis. Palisade cells have abundant chloroplast and is the main center for photosynthesis. Palisade cells may be present in a single layer or more than one layer, usually below the upper epidermis or sometimes also below the lower epidermis. Below palisade is the region of loosely arranged green cells enclosing large air cavities called spongy parenchyma. Guard cells the guard cells are two specialized green epidermal cells bounding the stomata. The guard cells possess chloroplast and are clearly differentiated from rest of the epidermal cells. In dicots, the walls of guard cells facing the stomata are thickened while outer and lateral walls are thin. In monocots, dumb bell shaped guard cells are thick in the middle and thin walled at their distended ends. Guard cells are surrounded by specialized cells, subsidiary cells. They help in opening and closing of stomata 
and thus enable gaseous exchange and transpiration. Parenchyma Cells are isodiametric, thin-walled and living. They contain prominent nucleus and reserve food material. Intercellular spaces may or may not be present. Its main function is storage of food and forms the ground tissue of various parts. Colonchyma It is made up of isodiametric and elongated cells. Cell walls are unevenly thickened. The thickening occurs at the corners, angular colonchyma, on the tangential walls, lamellar colonchyma, or on the walls bordering the intercellular spaces. The cells are living and contain cytoplasm with nucleus. If the cells contain chloroplast, it prepares food, otherwise gives tensile strength and provides mechanical support to plant. Sclerenchyma It consists of dead cells with thick, lignified walls and narrow lumen. They lack protoplasm. They are dead cells. It has two types of cells, sclerides and fibers. They provide mechanical strength and rigidity. Sclerenchyma fibers. Cells are elongated with tapering ends. Cell walls are thick with many pits where thickening is absent. The lumen or cell cavity is very narrow. It provides mechanical support and rigidity to the plant body. Sclerides or stone cells. The cells are isodiametric, irregular in shape. Lumen is narrow. The walls have branched or simple pits. Secondary walls are thick being highly lignified, lack protoplasm and are dead. Xylem. It is a complex tissue generally made up of four types of cells, xylem vessels, tracheids and xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. The tracheids are narrow elongated cells with annular, spiral, scalary form, reticulate and pitted thickenings. Their end walls are tapering and closed. The vessels are also highly lignified and elongated tubes. Their end walls have a simple perforation or multiple perforations. Xylem parenchyma or wood parenchyma are alive, thin walled cells assisting conduction of water. Xylem fibers are sclerenchymatous fibers with thick lignified walls, narrow lumen, and tapering ends. They provide mechanical strength. Xylem helps in conduction of water and mineral salts from roots to the leaves. Phloem. It is a complex permanent tissue. It is made up of four types of cells, sieve tubes, companion cells and phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. The sieve elements are elongated cells and are of two types, single-celled, sieve cells and multicellular sieve tubes. The sieve cells have sieve plates, both on the side walls and on the end walls, while sieve tubes have sieve plates at the end of the cells. Adjacent to the sieve element, there lies an elongated companion cells with a prominent nucleus. A few parenchyma cells called phloem parenchyma and sclerenchyma fibers called phloem fibers are also present in the tissue. Phloem conducts food from leaf to different parts of plants wherever it is required or stored. Thank you ma'am. You have given a great knowledge through this experiment.